crazy person. Well, apparently it was my duty to inform you that your wedding dress had arrived. It is my duty as the, uh, what is it, the executive vice president in charge of bridal affairs to help that, you try it on. Yes. What? That's what she said to you? Yes. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> well, I want to help you try it on. Come on. She said um, she put it in your room. I don't... What? Um, You're not coming? Yeah, I just... Uh, I'm gonna try it on later. Are you, are you, are you joking? You, you've spent weeks trying to pick out the most perfect wedding dress and now you don't want to see it? Who are you and what have you done with my best friend? Well, it's not about the dress, right? It's about the marriage. <laughs> right, it's about the dress. But I, I'm just, look, uh, to be really honest, I am suddenly having a hard time getting excited about my own wedding because I just know that Carly is doing everything in her power to try to ruin it. It's making me nervous. I knew she was going to try and do something. What does she do now? Well, every time I'm here, first of all, that woman comes barging in this front door lately and it, she thinks she owns the place. And by the way, she thinks she owns Jason too. You realize that, right? Yes. And you know how Sunny and I bought that beautiful place out in the woods and it's supposed to be our place where we can escape and get away from the craziness, she to be honest, Carly's craziness. She showed up there? Yeah, she showed up there and told Sunny, you know, that she needed to talk about <clears throat> Michael. Of course. I mean, that shouldn't be a surprise to you. She always uses the Michael card as leverage. I mean, she uses her kids all the time to get to Sunny. I mean, that's how she stalks him. What happened to that woman? I, why is she so sad and pathetic? I don't know, but that's exactly the way I would describe Carly. When I marry Sunny, I am going to have to promise to deal with all of the baggage that comes along with him, but. I know, but Carly is not your run of the mill baggage. She can't be alone, you know? And I, I think that's why she holds on so tightly to the kids because it's the only thing that she gets to hold over Sunny. Yeah. Well, I guess the good news is that, you know, Michael and Morgan are almost grown up, so she won't be able to hold them over his head for much longer, but I do feel bad for Jax. Woo! He has years <laughs> of the insanity that is Carly coming to him. Can we not talk about her anymore? I okay. really, really want to see your dress. Please. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh my god.